Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Giselle and today you're gonna indulge with me, okay? We're gonna be making red velvet cake. If you know me, if you've been following me, you know that I love red velvet. We're gonna pour the cake mix in here. So the box says we need one fourth cups of water. So this is one cup here. Gonna add a fourth, there we go. Fun fact about me, you guys, I actually got into baking when I was like around eight or nine, and I used to bake these types of cakes all the time, cupcakes, and then I would make brownies. So baking was like my first thing. And then as I started getting older, I started getting into cooking, you know, like eggs, pancakes, um, chicken, like you know, like more savory foods. So yeah, guys, I've been into baking for some time now. I don't do it as much, obviously, because, you know, I'm trying to be healthy as much as I can, but you know, I'm not opposed to it, as you can see. Here and there, I'll bake. And if you guys can't tell by now, I have a huge sweet tooth. I love sweets, especially chocolate, so yeah, like, when it comes to me indulging, don't get me wrong, of course, there are times where I crave a burger, pizza, sushi, or anything savory, but, like, my one, like, guilty, guilty pleasure is chocolate. Chocolate! Chocolatey desserts, you know, red velvet, like, just sweets, you know, I love sweets. So next, we're gonna pour half a cup of vegetable oil, so get whatever oil that you have in your house. We also need three eggs. So, let me pour this in here. You guys have seen that TikTok challenge where, um, or the the TikTok prank where um, they crack it on like your forehead. I don't know if I should do it to my own. I just want to show you how to do it properly, but you do have to come here though. Now you're gonna crack an egg on my head. <laughs> My brother's on TikTok, so he's seen the egg um, cracking prank. So I have this little thing that we're gonna use. <laughs> I haven't used this since I used to bake these cakes, so hopefully it works. It should work. We'll see right now. It still works! Now what we're gonna do is spray the glass um, Pan, <laughs> I was trying to figure out the word. Um, glass pan, so that doesn't stick. Ooh, it has like a smell. Last time I had red velvet cake was for my brother's birthday. So good. From Portos, do y'all know Portos? If you don't know about Portos, you need to know about it, okay? Cause their desserts, their cakes, everything, it's so good. It's a Cuban bakery. And if you're in California, specifically Southern California, you need to try Portos, okay? It's so good. And I always get red velvet for my birthday. Even though I do love chocolate. Well, technically, I know red velvet is apparently like dyed chocolate, but uh, just the cream cheese frosting and everything, it's so good. Comment down below if you're with me and you love red velvet because I do. Now we're going to put this to the side for a little bit and do the other box because I'm trying to make it like the picture where it has the layer. So we're gonna do that. A big reason why I wanted to make this video is because obviously I'm a personal trainer, you guys know that. I'm a gym rat, I'm all about fitness, very passionate about it, so you guys know that. However, I just wanted to make something a little different, you know? Of course, eating healthy is super important. You guys know that I'm all about that life, right? But at the same time though, I think it's also good to show you guys like I'm indulging it's perfectly fine we're human this right here it's not a thing to be shameful of it's not something to feel guilty over it's literally just cake when when I look at this it's just food I control what I put in my body so if I want to put this in my body then I'm going to but guess what tomorrow I'm still gonna eat pretty healthy but as a snack, yeah, I might have some cake. But I'm gonna eat healthy most of the day. I'm chilling. I'm good. I feel like when you plan out your days of indulging, you become really successful at 
not relating food with emotions all the time. And I think that's one of the biggest problems that I see with a lot of people. So I did the second one already, but it was pretty much the same steps that you guys already saw a few clips before. Yeah, you guys, again, just want to explain that I know a lot of people correlate food with emotions. And for many different reasons, you know, sometimes it's a way for us to cope with whatever trauma that we have, whatever is there, whatever void is there, whatever problems are here and here. It could stem from childhood, you know, it could stem from, you know, family, because like I talk about this with my clients sometimes and it's so annoying, but there have been times where I have family members like comment on the way that my body looks and all of that, comment on the way that I eat, and it's like, it, it with like you can just never win with them sometimes because it's like one minute it's like oh you need to eat your whole plate and you need to eat everything and then you continue to do that right because they raise you that way oh but when you start gaining weight oh all of a sudden oh like you're gaining weight aren't you well yeah you would make me eat a plate and sometimes seconds when i didn't even want it when i didn't even feel like having seconds so stuff like that or when you're trying to lose weight then it's like Oh, no, you need to eat. You need to eat, you know, too skinny. And it's like, what the? <laughs> you can never win with them sometimes. So trust me, I get it. But yeah, I think as adults, though, we do have the power to take control of that. And we are able to heal from that and learn from that and not correlate food with emotions. It's hard because you're unlearning that, but it's doable with the right mindset, with hard work and time because it also takes time it's not something that you're able to do in a month in two months three months maybe not even six months well you can make a lot of improvement in you know three to six months but still i'm just trying to say that you know it's one of those things that it takes time to master i think it's really important to plan out your meals when you do indulge because when you plan out every not you seeing the little bit of mix i'll just mix that in there and when you plan out the times where you're gonna eat healthier i feel like it's great because you're more likely to stick to the plan versus if you just kind of indulge spontaneously without a plan and without knowing when you're gonna eat healthy again when is gonna be your next healthy meal then that's where not for everyone but i think for a lot of people it can be like it's just hard to maintain because as humans, I feel like naturally we want routine, you know? So just like how you have a workout routine, just like how you have a sleeping schedule, just like you have your work schedule. Well, create a schedule for yourself. Oven's ready. Create a schedule for yourself for when you're going to eat healthy and when you're going to indulge. You know, for me personally, I eat pretty healthy Monday through Friday. Now, Saturday and Sunday, I don't binge. I've talked about this plenty of times. I'm going to talk about it again. I don't binge and go ham and eat everything in my path. You know, I had today's Saturday, okay? So I had a healthy breakfast, decent lunch, not too unhealthy, but not unhealthy. <clears throat> Excuse me, not too unhealthy, but also not the healthiest, but it was high protein, though. I had some salmon gumbo. So good. I might put a picture up here. But anyways, uh, for dinner, I am going to have a healthy dinner, though. It's because I'm here at home, so I am going to have healthy dinner. And this is going to be my indulging snack a little bit towards later in the evening. And then tomorrow, you know, I'm going to have a healthy breakfast. Lunch, not too sure, because I usually go out to lunch with my family after church. So we'll see what we eat. But even then, there are times where I'll get, like, a healthier option. We got to see. Um, and then dinner, usually... if. I indulge for lunch, then I'll try to have a healthier dinner option. It just kind of depends. And then I know I'm going to have this again as a snack tomorrow. But overall, just trying to give you guys an example. You don't have to follow exactly what I do. This is what works for me personally. But again, it's an example where I have indulging meals, but not an entire day of just binging. Because is that really true balance? If you're eating healthy Monday through Friday, but Saturday and Sunday, you're eating everything in your path and you know maybe drinking i personally don't drink but there are people that do drink are you just drinking the night away I'm not bashing you but i'm just keeping it real really really think about that too like yeah you know so plan out when you're gonna indulge with meals not days 
just take days out of your out of your vocabulary out of your mindset do not even think about that indulging meals that's right here Ooh. perfect now we wait i also do want to mention that i know i said making this cake is making me feel excited right that's an emotion you know i'm, I'm not saying you can't have any emotion because i feel like naturally even without the you know childhood stuff family stuff i feel like naturally you are just gonna be excited to have something that you love you know so i am excited but again it's, it's just it's kind of hard to explain i try not to like make it such a big deal you know like it's just something that i casually say and something that is casual up here like yeah like i'm just gonna have some red velvet cake yeah cool 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 i'm excited but you know yeah, just a way to indulge, you know, I feel like indulging, but tomorrow for breakfast, I'm going to have a healthy breakfast. Like, you get what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, I try to not make it such a big deal because I feel like the more you make it a big, big deal, you're either going to be too excited about it in a way and you're always just going to want to binge or it could go the other way where you make it too much of a big deal and then you, it makes you anxious, it makes you depressed, it makes you feel guilty and shame and ashamed of yourself makes you sad and then that makes you binge more because sometimes people also have that all or nothing mindset where they feel like oh well i already had this red velvet cake i might as well just have this tomorrow for breakfast i might as well have this for the next day because i'm already cheating i'm already having i'm already here so i might as well just stay here but you don't want to have that mindset with anything but especially you know Right now we're talking about indulging with food, with fitness, you know, you just do not want to have an all or nothing mindset. The longer you have that type of mindset, the more you're setting yourself up for failure. Trust me. Nice. Oh, I put one of the cakes on this tray. Some of the top came off a little bit, even though it was cooled down. Well, now it's definitely a little more cool, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and add the frosting. So we got cream cheese frosting right here. And if you are not a big fan of red velvet cake, comment down below what is your favorite flavor of cake. My second is chocolate, third, hmm, I don't know. You guys, I am done putting on the frosting. I tried my very best. The top was coming off a little bit, so I'm a little sad by that, but it's fine. Either way, it's gonna go in my stomach and my family's stomach. So let's go ahead and cut a piece to see what it looks like. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and try this cake. Here's like a little close up. That's like the bottom right there. Here's the middle. It's pretty good, you guys. Pretty good for being, well, not completely homemade, partially homemade, but yeah, I love cream cheese frosting. It's so good. Mm. Mm. Wowzers. Hey guys, what's up? So I am filming this outro like two days later. <laughs> it's currently Monday morning. I'm about to head out to the gym to train my clients. But just wanted to say I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys got some insight from this video as well about indulging and how I personally handle it. And maybe this can help you know how to handle it as well. Because I know indulging, binging, emotional, eating is just something that a lot of people struggle with. And I completely understand. I used to as well. But alright guys, I gotta head out. And please make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications that we get notified every time I upload a brand new video. <laughs> alright, stay tuned for my next one. Bye.